Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a potential Camtasia issue that you are having where your video and audio are out of sync. All right, so I've got this support ticket link from Camtasia and it's entitled, Video and Audio Are Out of Sync After Recording with Camtasia on Windows. I've had this issue before. My business partner has had this issue before. It doesn't happen all the time, but every so often we'll record a video like this, a screencast recording. It doesn't happen if I record off of another camera. So let's say if I'm recording on my Canon M50, this is not gonna be a problem. It's when I'm recording like this, screencast recording with the webcam, with the microphone. That's when I find the audio and video out of sync. So I found this and they have seven solutions here that are listed and I wanna provide an eighth solution that is not listed. So if you've gone through all the seven here that are listed and it's still not working, this is the one that I actually do to fix this issue really fast. All right, so let's quickly go through the solutions here and I will have a link to this down in the description below. This can be caused from a system resource issue, the computer processor or hardware cannot process both the video and audio like the audio is not fast enough to keep up with the video and vice versa, that's why it's like slightly off. So they have some options here. Update the latest drivers, reduce the screen capture frame rate, check your Windows recording and playback settings, use software mode, update webcam, set Camtasia to high performance graphics, or change recording mode. I am here creating this video to offer an eighth option and let's head over to Camtasia. So I've got a test video right here. This video is not out of sync, but I'm going to just show you an example if it were. So let's pretend like this video right here, this nine second clip is out of sync for whatever reason. What I would do to fix this quickly is right click on the audio separate the audio and video. It's going to have your video on one line and your audio on the other line and manually move it in place. So I'm gonna off sync it to show you what it would look like. So let's say this is like off sync. Let's just say it's like this and I'm gonna play it right now so you can see that it is off sync. So I'll, I'll play it. How's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino and welcome to the Esatino Artist YouTube channel where we talk about money, marketing, and mindset. Okay, so you can see that it was slightly off sync and it does become noticeable if you're watching a tutorial video and the whole time it's like slightly off by even half a second, you can totally notice it. And so if this happens, separate your audio and video and line it up. Oftentimes it's not that much off. It's not even a full second off. It's usually a partial second off. And so what I'll do is I will zoom in completely into the timeline and I will move the audio ever so slightly. And just a quick pro tip, do this before you start editing your entire video and chopping it up into little pieces, you know, and removing it and doing the full edit. Do this when you just have your video and your audio together and you're just starting to edit. You don't want to do this afterwards because when you have many pieces that you're trying to move incrementally, it's not going to go as smooth as if you just all had it in one chunk. So what I do is I completely zoom into the timeline and I move the audio slightly and then I'll just play it and see if it's in sync. Like I'll see if it matches up. And oftentimes it's usually just like a slight thing like that, which might look big, but it really isn't because if you zoom out, it's like millimeters of moving it and oftentimes for uh, for me like for what was going on on my side that's that fixed the issue so like i said i would separate audio from video zoom in completely into the timeline and move this ever so slightly 
and then of course you would need to play it to see if it matches up and then if it does, just keep it like that and then continue editing your video. That's option eight. If you've gone through everything and it's still not working, just manually move them in place. But because I know that this is synced like that, I just move it back to place like that. And so that is just my quick fix for you guys. If you've gone through all those options and they still haven't fixed it, just physically move it into place. So if I was able to help you out, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. If you like these kinds of videos, if you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I've got a nine plus hour 70 lecture course down in the description below. I highly recommend you get it if you want to fast track your Camtasia learning. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.